Changing your WordPress login URL is an excellent way to protect your WordPress website from brute force attacks, but figuring out how to do that without hiring a developer is challenging. That's why in this video, I'll show you how to create a custom login page with a custom URL in minutes easily using Seedprod. Everyone here at Seedprod loves having you part of the community, so please subscribe, like the video, and hit the bell to be notified of future videos so you don't miss our tutorials and important announcements. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and open a tab for seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to be using the pro version of Seedprod. So go ahead and click on get Seedprod and select the plan that makes the most sense for you. After you have an account with Seedprod, let's go ahead and log in. On the left hand side, let's enter your email address, password and click login. Once you're into your account, let's go ahead and click on downloads right here. It's the second tab from the left. And we can click on the landing page pro button here to download the plugin. We also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can click the little icon there to copy that to your clipboard and we can close this tab back in WordPress on the left hand side. Let's head over to plugins and add new. Let's click on upload plugin up here at the top and we can drag this zip file right here onto the choose file button or you can click choose file and select the zip file that you just downloaded on your hard drive. Let's go ahead and click on install now and activate plugin. Seedprod will ask you for the license key. We can paste that right in here and click on verify key. And if everything went well, you should see the green success message. If you're using the same browser as I am or similar, you can close this tab at the bottom. Next on the left hand side, you'll see Seedprod in your menu. Let's go ahead and click on pages. And right here we have different modes coming soon, maintenance, login, 404, and you can create custom landing pages from scratch or from templates down here below. Today, we're looking at the login page. Let's go ahead and set up a new login page right here by clicking the button. And Seedprod is going to ask you to select a template. You can use the blank template if you want to create your own from scratch using the Seedprod blocks, or you can select one of these pre-made templates. I'm just going to click a simple one right now, simple login page, just to keep this video easy. And we'll go in and give a custom page name here. So I'm going to call my page name here sign in, but you'll notice that the page URL here is updated as well. This will be the custom URL to your sign in or login page. So you can change how this looks. You can modify this. You can make it one word if you want or change it to login or anything that makes the most sense for you. I'm going to leave mine to sign in and save and start editing the page. Here on the right hand side, we have the seed prod page builder. So we can see the sections and the rows and the blocks and everything is drag and drop in our visual editor. So for example, if I want a headline over here, I can drop this right into our page. We can click on the block settings to modify it and change how it looks. So here it's asking for our logo. I'm just going to keep this clean and leave it here. I'll modify this block, the headline and change this to sign in and maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. In the block section here, I'll search for social and maybe this would be a good place to put our social profile so people can contact us if they need to. You just simply click on the block here and again, you can update every single social media account that you have. You can add new ones if you like. There's quite a few here to choose from. If you want to remove some, you can click the trash can. If you want to edit it, you can click the cogwheel and put the URL to your social media account for that specific one. You have different styles here and different sizes, the alignment. And we have templates. These are pre-made styles that you can change. So I'll click on this one and we can go under advanced and you can change the size and the color. And this is how Seedprod works. You do the same thing with all of these blocks. Whatever you want to add into your page, you can just simply drag over into your page and style it. Now you can change the individual font and color for every element on the page, but we also have global settings here in the bottom left hand corner. So we have fonts, colors, background and customs. So if I click on fonts, we can see a header font and body font. I just pick a random one here. You'll see that my header has changed and the body. Let's pick a random one. You can see all that changed as well. If you need help picking fonts, we have the font themes button here, which brings up these pre-selected combinations that you can select. I'll pick this one here and you can see that that updates instantly. We also have the colors. So under the colors tab, we have headers, text, buttons, links, and background. Again, you can change all those manually or you can click color palettes to select a random one. Let me go with something really bright here. There you go. You can see it's purples and pinks and blues and everything updated uh, instantly here. If you don't like that, you can click the undo button down here in the bottom left hand corner and that'll take you back and you could go ahead and select another one if you wish. We also have the mobile icon down here so you can see the mobile preview to see what it'll look like on mobile devices and you can click that to go back here as well. Once you're happy with your login page and you've added everything that you want, you can click on save. We can go ahead and actually publish this page and it'll ask you to see the live page. We're actually going to close this first. And we can exit out of here. And there's one more important step. Your login page will not be active until you activate it. So this one has a specific button here. We click on this to put it active. If you do not activate this, it'll not work. 
So there we go. If I come over to my slash sign in page, you can see my custom login page. I'm currently logged in as a user, but if I click log out, this will bring me back to the sign in page. And here's our custom login page. Now that you know about how to change the WordPress admin login URL, maybe you'd like to check out this video on how to build a Netflix landing page clone with WordPress, which will help you learn more advanced seed prod features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.